Yes, good morning. Uh, good day. 15th. 15th of the month, Ayom Yom. Let's start here. Find the place. Here we go. It begins with a parenthesis about remarking that there are some changes that have to be emendated. That's the word they keep using. Emend emendations of the text in Torah or little corrections, changes. However, here's the Yom Yom that we can read. So the Frida Kerebe says, he says, Askes Veshon Yisrael, pay attention and listen. This is the time marked for the redemption by Mashiach. The sufferings befalling us are the birth pangs of Mashiach and were redeemed only through Shuva. Have no faith in the false prophets who assure you of glories and salvation after the war. You know, these are the utopianists and those the communists and those who were. We have the solution, right, to the way humanity should live. Have no trust in the man who places his reliance. I right, skipped a little. Remember the word of Hashem. The word of Hashem is, Cursed is the man who puts his trust in man, who places his reliance for help in mortals, and turns his heart from God. Pasuk from Yemiyahu. Return Israel unto the eternal your God. Prepare yourself and your family to go forth and receive Mashiach, whose coming is imminent. I want to dedicate today's learning to all the Chayolim, to the war, the winning of the war, the absolute winning of the war, of the war between darkness and light. It should come speedily in our days with minimal casualties. Amen. Amen. And do a full Amen. Uh, Amen. You heard this gold, uh, Baz, Ben, uh, no, Baz. You heard this gold. Uh, uh, you heard it's called the Bas Aliza Hana, Tivi Chaya, Bas Leimasha, Elka Rachel Bas Aliza, and Barak Benyam and Ben Rachel Blima. I'm sorry. We should all have a full shlema. Did you say you heard it's called? I just went on. Oh, yeah. You heard it's called the Bas Aliza Hana. I said it. Okay, thank you. And Chava Daniela Bas Naomi Hana. Full shlema. Okay. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Okay, we're starting a new chapter, chapter 10. Uh, chapter 10 in Lessons in Tanya begins on page 147. And in the Kutia Morim, it begins on page 28. Yeah. And just a very brief introduction. You may or may not remember from page one of Tanya. The Alter, Le Alter Rebbe has laid out in front of us there are five levels of a person. Tzadik v'toivloi, a tzadik who is, has good to him. We're just saying the words v'toivloi because he's about to you know, dive into the understanding of those. Tzadik she'ena toivloi, Tzaddik that is not, and I'll put in the word entire, you know, entirely good, but let's just keep it straight, who doesn't have good to him. A Rush a Bainani, the subject of our book. A Rush of a Tavlay, a Russia, and is good to him. And a Rush of a Raleigh, a Russia that's completely evil. So today the Alter Rebbe is having get, given us all the information we need to know about our tool set. That's what I've been calling it, our weaponry our instrumentation, uh, our technology, what we have to deal with, uh, to, to, cut, to allow ourselves to grow into and become one of the positive categories and leave the domain of the negative categories. So having done that, he begins to talk about first the tzaddik. Mahine, when a person strengthens gibor, right, power, when he gives power to and strengthens his nefesh elikis, 
v'nilchem kol kach, and does such a battle in Habahamis with the animal of himself, to the extent that he banishes and cleans out, destroys the evil which is associated with the animal soul, from the left side, again, not killing the animal soul, right? I've said this enough, I think, but the evil that's attached to it, in the left side of the heart, the Meshachosim has written the Pesach in the Vorim, that you should burn out, destroy, separate out the evil from the, your mitz, Mekir Becho. And I'm just a little Durash that's often brought in Hasidim, in Hasidus, Kir Becho, Kir, and within you is Korev, right, that's not the Drush, Korev Alecha Hadov Emeoid. It is here so we understand there's something deep inside you that allows you for, in your guts, because the other word for uh, this is associated with this is kirbayim, guts. There's something deep inside of you, which it gives is uh, it, it gives you the power to do this. V'yato harami kirbecho, to destroy the evil from within you. However, there are degrees of freeing yourself from the evil. V'yato harami kirbecho, of destroying or separating out separating out this, the, uh, the, uh, the, the evil from within you and turning it into good. So if so, the Ein Hara Nepach, so if the Ra is not completely turned over, transformed to Toiv, Mamish, so then you're called a Tzadik She'en Gomer. You're called a Tzadik who is not complete, the Tzadik Beralo. And that's the second tzaddik that we mentioned, tzaddik b'toivle, tzaddik b'radle. And the important thing is, what's the, the you, you haven't transformed. The evil is there. We're going to see that it's there, but it makes no, no, but you've, but there's no, uh, it does, no awareness, there's no, and then it never raises its head to make you distracted by it if you're a tzaddik. But it has not, on the other hand, nepach b'toiv, has not been transformed to good. So if that is your level, then you're called a tzaddik she'en a gomer, of a tzaddik v'radloi. A tzaddik that's not complete, and a tzaddik who still has evil within him or her, but, uh, and has not transformed it, but it's completely silent. There's still a little bit of the negativity in the left side of your heart. Ella, what? Why doesn't it raise its head and, 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 and make its presence known at all? Because you have subjugated it and nullified it to the goodness. So it's so small now that it has no voice. Since it has no voice, it, has no, it gives no attention to its presence. Because it's been pushed aside and driven away completely. Still there. Way, way down in corners of yourself that are so small and tiny that it has no voice. Abu Ba'amas, in truth, if you transformed it, and it had completely left you, all the evil that's within you. See, the, 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 the force of it, we've talked about this before, the force of, the force of animation that's of, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the everything that's in creation is ultimately coming from Kedusha, including the most evil of the evil. So if you had transformed it completely, you would have sucked out all the negativity would have been uh, all the negativity which the manifestation which is negative which would have been transformed into a manifestation of positive you would have taken the negative energy and actually managed, transformed it into good that's the state if you had dealt with the Yitzhahor in what's called a tzaddik gomer a complete tzaddik as he'll say so let's explain this a complete tzaddik 
is one who has dealt with that evil in such a way that he's completely, or she has completely transformed it to good. And that's for this person is called a tzaddik v'toivloi. Who, al yedei, what's the, why the goodness, why do we use the word goodness there? Because al yedei has sores habagodim sorim. One is completely removed uh, all the evil from the garments, the garment of nihara, all the evil completely from the garments, from the, from the evil. All, all the garments have been completely removed from evil. And the symptom of this is that the Sadi Gomer has no interest. On the contrary, finds all the Tanugim of Olam of this world completely disgusting. Now, that doesn't mean that he finds Olam Hazet disgusting. On the contrary, he knows, she knows, this Tadik knows that Olam Hazet is the, is the prize. Turning the darkness of this world into light is the prize. It's, it's what we've been created for. And so a tzaddik, whether complete or not complete, and even an ordinary person like us, we have beginning to be, be conjured. We don't despise the, the, the natural for its naturalness. We despise that we're, or the tzaddik in this case, if we're let's talk about the tzaddik within us, to the extent that we're in touch with that little piece of tzaddik within us, we are not interested, in fact, we despise the fact that the, the, the natural world and the fleshly world and the, the world of, 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 of stuff can really distract us and really turn us into people who are attached to that kind of stuff. So I despise that. I despise that. But at the same time, I know that all of these things have the, the highest levels, of the deepest levels of godliness are invested in the lowest, and therefore my passion is all about exposing the Kedusha, which is within them. And and on the contrary, being limos, disgusted by the Tainugim of Olam Hazeh. To be attracted to them and have delight in them the way average people do. Limlois Taivas Aguf to fill the Taivas, the Desires of the body, Bilvad, alone. Hashem, and not to use them out for the service of Hashem. So that's clear, right? Sadik, what's 100% or just some 100% he's transformed. Less than 100% he's pushed it into such minutia that it has no voice. And his whole avoida, Sadik's whole avoida, is about utilizing this world and the reason that the tzaddik has done this or uh, with these clippers is because the tzaddik understands that the evil which is in them is drawn from and flows from the clippers and the sitrachra. Other side. The kol mashahu misitrachra, anything that comes from the sitrachra. A tzaddik goyma who is soinoi betachlis asina. The tzaddik, the person tzaddik, hates them with a, with a complete, ultimate hatred. Machmas goydel habosil Hashem because of his great love to Hashem. Who could do shosay and his and Hashem's holiness. Be'avar rabbe betainugim. As we discussed yesterday, avar rabbe, his whole desire is to give and be, and be held in the lap of Hashem and to be one with Hashem and to cling to Hashem. And the tzaddik has no other desire than that. The he, and to cling to Hashem, betainugim, with the love of delights, the chiva yeser hanal, and that extra measure of fondness, lovingness, that we described yesterday. Kihem, kihem zelu umazeh, because there is this notion, there is this reality in the world. Zelu umazeh, that Hashem has created one thing opposite the other, who can deceive, as is written in Tillam, Tachlusina Sanoisum. David Amelik says that other side, right? I've created this and I've created that. Well, that, that on the other side, I hate it with a complete hatred. They are like enemies to me. Search me, God says, search me and know my heart. And according to the level of of great of love for Hashem, 
so is the greatness, the greatness corresponding level of sina, of hatred, to the sitra achra. To the point of utterly hating, ultimately, no, hating it utterly, completely. Because the feeling of hatred or disgustedness is the opposite of love. Mamish. It's like hatred. Okay. The tzaddik she'ena goyma. So now back to the distinction. Now that we know, I've talked quite a lot about what evil is, right? The tzaddik she'ena goyma, who she'ena soyna hasitarak betachlis. A tzaddik who's not complete does not have a complete, one hundred percent hatred of the sitarak. The lochein, therefore, ena mois gam kem berabetachlis. Therefore, he doesn't hate the sitarak ultimately and completely. And here I've flowed into uh, tomorrow's time. Yeah. You got that? Any comments? Yeah? No? Yeah, I'm thinking about the Avos and the beginning about how, you know, everybody made the big mistakes and and you know all of them all of our avos well, what, what do you mean the avos made mistakes like well, Avram, what, what, I mean, what did they you do know, I, yeah, Avram and Yitzhak and Yaakov they they did the they they didn't do they weren't perfect and and we we know and well, what do you what do you mean so just, no I, I need an example well, of that maybe you're right but let me hear well um I don't know. There were there were always no, no. the there were always the tests. Um, they had the I'm tests. Sure they, I'm sure they weren't. I'm sure that they they weren't perfect. I mean, like even. Why are you say, sure of that? I don't Why know sure because that? That there's always because I think I think that that they were human and and that we are we are being shown in the Torah like human beings and. They do right, and sometimes they do wrong, right. and, let, 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 and let how me, it all me, works out. We need an let example, Menucha. Give us an example, specific. Uh, 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 okay, the the brothers throwing Joseph into the pit. Mm -hmm. That's a good that, one. The brothers throwing into the pit. You know, you know. Remember, that's the sin that uh, on Rosh Hashanah, right? No one was ever. Uh, punished for that right and uh okay that's an interesting example but yosef himself said hashem it was all hashem's plan yeah but, plan. Yeah, but that's not that's not the question yeah that, that's not right? the question Rivka, everything's the question to is plan. you know about about sadikim you know that don't have yet you know anything any yet to horror or all right have so let's 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 Let's, if we can, let's back off of this. Let's say that, you know, that there's a reality to what you're saying. I'd like to hear more discussion about that. But all, what we're focusing on, let's focus on the, the fact that there is the possibility of tzaddik. Unlike what you said, we're only human beings. We are especially human beings in that we have a tzaddik within us and that we can, can manifest tzaddikus. So let's leave that other question aside because it's a little... We're not 100 percent on it it's an interesting question well, it's a, about when about those people but let's talk about us because that's what the time is talking about us we have the possibility the tzaddik within us and that's a level that a human being can achieve and not be what you call just human meaning dragged to into evil so let's just stay with that okay Anybody well, else? Just stay with that, because that's that's the subject. Us. Well, I mean, not, it's, not one the the big, it's one of the big categories. So you just went through. It's, yes, but we haven't said anything about the, the avoist and the emois, and leave them aside for the moment, because we have a, a question. So we're not going to resolve that question at the moment, unless someone has a snap answer. Okay. Okay, but let's talk about us, because that's yeah. that's what the book is about us. It's not about Avram Avino. It's describing a level of human which is possible, realizable, attainable, and we've seen it in our lifetime, Sadiqim. And two categories of Sadiq. So let's just stay with that. Uh, anybody else? Someone has a hand up. Abatya. Abatya has a hand up. Abatya? 
Sorry, mm-hmm. I, I, I okay. muted. And, and no, I, I, I find uh, you know a lot in Tanya like very humbling. You know that yeah. that and and that's sort of like my takeaway from it. I mean, of course, you know, yes, I there's a lot to strive for. There there is a tzaddik in, inside each and every one of us, but like living your life that way, that's, it's very humbling. Like how often do, do I do that during the day? How often, you know, is that the main goal? It, I, it's, you know, that the, one of the reasons why mm. I love Tanya is just be, it's that reminder, you know, early in the morning, like yeah, this is, right. you know, so I, I just, I'm just humbled by it. That's good. Humble, humble is great. Small is great. Rivka, your hands up. Hi, right, yeah. I'm interested in the difference between the Sadaka Rao and Sadaka Tovo to the extent that externally they look the same. That it says it seems to say that that the, the Sadak Farao might think that they 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 have overcome the Nefesh Habahamas. They think they do this, but they're still lurking. There's always this possibility. Right. Of- and, and just interrupt you. The reason they may think that is for a good reason. Because that Ra never, ever makes itself known at all. Excuse, what doesn't make itself known? The Ra, the evil. Never, ever, ever makes itself known. It's so minuscule that it has no significant existence in the consciousness How or behavior. So where do we distinguish? Who distinguishes it? Only Mela Mila? I mean, I mean, who? Know, I mean, does the tzaddik know? Then what's, what's the, you're what's the does, difference? Does, yeah. Then does, what's you're the asking? Difference? You're asking whether does the tzaddik know whether he's a Rallo or or not? Complete? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. It seems to say there's a pasuk here that says he can. Ulochein need He could. He could imagine. It appears to him. Himself. Yeah. That he's pushed it out totally. That's the right. rest but of that yeah. sentence. Yeah, he right. may think that, but in reality, he's not, because it hasn't right. been yet transformed to good. Okay, but you're saying, but but from externally, they both look yeah, the yeah. same. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Externally, they look the same. wise are the same, and they both have a feeling of disgust, good evil. Yes, but, but what, you're saying, like what you're saying is true. Balance. It could tip anyway, any any time it could tip. Well, I don't know if it could tip because I don't know how it's done because I'm not familiar internally with transforming oneself from a tzaddik chain of doma to a tzaddik okay. doma. So I don't know how it's done. But and so it, what's the practical uh, uh, application? The practical, see, okay, that, this I can address. When you're on the level of tzaddik, reveal level of tzaddik, not tzaddik, I'm chukulam tzaddik, and we have it all within us. Then you are aware, very aware, that I'll put it this in a, in a emotional way, everything you touched is turning to gold because you are aware and connected with the highest that's in everything and you experience that. You experience the rush. And I'm not saying this to mean like you have a rush. I mean, maybe I'll change the word. You experience the, the flow of energy coming from everything that's physical and revealing its godliness. You have that. You you have that awareness because you are in the process of there's a revealing a, few, a huge light that's been concealed in the darkness. You've you've broken through a, a, a black hole and released all the energy that's within there. So I would imagine that you can. That's quite an experience. The altar Rebbe says me talking. That this is a, no. I would I would imagine. This, I, I would imagine this, this is quite an experience. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Right. Alter Rebbe, saying? tell us in the time how the tzaddik feels. Not, no, I don't think so. I don't think I, I don't have first of all for us to say. Honestly, I have no remembrance of that. How the tzaddik feels. In fact, on page one, we have tzaddik, right, who mistakes himself and calls himself a bainer because he's never, you know, he, because he's never experienced anything as evil. A bainer also. Well, we'll get to the bainer. He's he's. Robert, remember Rabba from page one? Rabba kind of, he said, for, for instance, for me, I'm a Bainani. And let's, we can deal with that one because al Rabbi did explain that. Why did he think he was a Bainani? Because, well, we'll just say very simply, a Bainani has the experience of evil 
but never allows the experience. Unlike either of the tzaddikim, they don't have any experience of evil. It's either so small that it can't have any any uh, exhibited power whatsoever, or it's transformed. The Benini does have the experience of evil, and is both defined, but he, as he experiences it, he pushes it away. Rabbah was learning all the time. His mouth, his mouth never ended from learning. So he thought, well, if I stop learning, maybe I'd feel some evil, and I'd be a Benini. But he felt that he but never did, so he's called himself a Sadiq. So one thing we do know, a Sadiq does not have the experience of evil. Now you ask me what experience he has. This is my imagining. That what would what would what would the experience like? Maybe someone see it. If someone seen it described in sikhas or something, that would be great. What's the experience of of the uh, the experience of transformation of darkness to light? Yeah, All right. My At my question that, was about the difference between the the, the two categories of tzaddikim. Yeah, well, that's just, it, that is the difference. The one, remember, the difference. The tzaddik gomer has transformed it into light. The tzaddik uh, gomer has just pushed it aside to such an extent that it never has any presence in his consciousness. Elisheba, you're up. Elisheba, are you there? Thank you. you are there. You're so sorry, yeah, it took me a while ahead, to unmute because I have to like adjust the screen. I just sent yes. two pictures to the group because mm -hmm. uh, I've been learning about, I, I watched this video with Y.Y. Jacobson and the inventor of internal family systems, Richard Schwartz. Have that was a, a great, have a great video, by the way. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. And so that got me super interested because I'd heard of IFS before and kind of like that. I just couldn't, didn't really understand it. So now I pulled out all my IFS books and started listening to more interviews by Richard Schwartz. And I'm getting a much clearer understanding. And so now this morning when you're talking about there's a tzaddik that has, first of all, the, the wording is tzaddik viralo and tzaddik vitovo in modern Hebrew at least ralo means like he like he has like like it's not comfortable for him in this world like he's suffering like he's not it's, he's it's, a tzaddik but he's suffering it's bad to him I mean he's experiencing yeah. bad yeah yeah and and tzaddik vitovo means like he's in perfect harmony he's a tzaddik and he has everything coming to him like glory glory so that's one thing that and then just looking at IFS and the Bain and can, I, the can I just let me interrupt you for a second? But I don't think the feeling here of the Tzadik Varalo is that he's feeling bad. You, you know, no, right? not that he's feeling bad, but that he has bad things happen to him. Like Tzadik in, in oh, modern Hebrew, bad things Ralo, happen. Yeah, Ralo in modern Hebrew, at least. I don't know if it means the same in the Tanya, but it, it means like Ralo, like. He has bad things happen to him. It's not. It's not. It's not such a simple, easy life. Right. You know like, that it, it may be true, and so they can actually do, as we know throughout history, they have a lot of bad things that happen to them. But I think the uh, the feel of hara here is that the ra that's inside of him doesn't make itself known to him because it's so minuscule or either transformed. Right. Okay. So I guess I'm op I'm open to the, whatever interpretations right. it could mean, but the idea that he has a ra it's buried deep inside if you look at the pictures like in right. ifs you have exiles but you never hear from them your whole life and his idea is is that those exiles that you've banished because you're tzaddik and you never want to hear of you know this thing that might raise its ugly head and you know whatever mm -hmm. but if you if you really tune into self self is the neshama you know according to the interview the self is like your atmos if you really turn right. to self then you can go in with that lamp even to the darker places of your exiles of that the tzaddik could never it never could even pop up and transform it. So I feel like this work has been given to us in in our generation that hasn't existed. This is only forty year old, you know, tool. Anyway, I think it's um, I think it's worth mentioning the parallels between our inner like what right. we can do. And um, what we're learning in Tanya. Absolutely. Thank you. Aviva. Does it it say later on in Tanya that a tzaddik, the tevla, is is given? It's a gift. Yes, it is. It is exactly what he will say. So the difference, the difference between a tzaddik Barali and a tzaddik the tevla, I think Rivka is 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 just that. 
you know, a person might become a tzaddik viralai, but well, a person cannot become a tzaddik v'tayvalai unless Hashem gifts it to him. Right. Well, I think Rifka Rif was speaking about the experience and the manifestation of the tzaddik. And you're speaking about how that manifestation can come about, mm -hmm. right? As a gift. And that's what he says. It is a gift. And two different things. How does how does that come about? And what is the effect of that coming about? So you're both talking about two complementary two things. things. Okay. Two different but complementary, right? One is how it how it happens, and the other is what is it that happens? Right? One that it happens with a gift. And what is it that happens? Well, one of them will have vanquished it, vanquished it, dead on the ground, right? That's a tzaddik varavli. It's over there, vanquished, but hasn't transformed it, hasn't sucked out the, you know, as we're going to learn, as we've learned in other places in the cities, the energy that's in, well, I'll just quote the, uh, the Navi who says that, uh, that, that death will be, that well, death will be vanished from the earth, and that's what the spirit of uncleanliness will leave, and it will reveal, it will open up the high, high place from which it comes. You know, on the principle, over and over again, you hear this from me, it gets probably boring, that the deeper the thing is, the lower it falls. So when it falls into Gimel Clippus of Timaeus, down here, but there's a huge power. In my imagery, I and mean, I, I, I'm saying this is only my imagery, I don't know, it, 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 it works well, with the uh, the black hole, this is the way science defines the black hole. It's a condensation of energy that's so great and so tight that force of condensation that no light can escape from it. And when you blast it, when you transform it, it's amazing, right? So that's the effect of the tzaddik v'toyvloi versus the tzaddik v'raloi. To Rivka's question, how does how does that look behaviorally? Oh no. Uh, L.A. Sheva, you back up? Or you just left your hand up? Oh, Sarah's up. Sarah's a new one. Go ahead, Sarah. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Um, just a thought on this process, because we're, the Tanya is a book about the Bainity, the in-between person, the in-betweener, as Rabbi Chaim Miller calls him. And I always have this feeling when we're learning these chapters in the beginning, but they're giving us like an overview, a perspective of how yeah. Hashem created the world with all these different types of Jews and people. And yes. that we're we're meant to take those perspectives, maybe in a in a broader sense of like, this is maybe not possible for me, but the the essence being that actually. All of these five categories of people are challenged to keep growing. None of them are stagnant. They're not meant to be stagnant. Mm -hmm. And neither are we. So for me, that's like maybe the takeaway of this is that even the even the complete tzaddik is still always growing in their service of Hashem. And well, that's, that's for sure. That's for sure. I that, that's like the takeaway. It's not just me, the in-between person who's striving, and I have to constantly struggle with my Yitzhahara, my Yitzhah Tova, my Ooh. service. Of, that everyone is doing that on their level. Well, wait, wait a minute. It inspired. Every, well, just make sure that we're saying the correct. Everyone is yeah. struggling, including the Sadiq, to move constantly to a higher, deeper level of connection with Hashem, because by definition, Hashem is infinite. But the tzaddik is not struggling with evil. His evil is, right? His evil is yeah. gone. Thank you, for, he's, he's, thank you for saying yeah, that in a all. clear way. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Right. Thank you. The was Bainini, it gone? The Bain did it never exist? Or did no, he have to no. work on himself for it to, to get there? Well, there's, there's, there's two, as far as I know, and this is as far as I know, there are two kinds of tzaddik. There are those who are born with it. It was gifted to them, and they were all. And then there were those who were gifted to it during their life. And, the, and in terms of working, I have the my, the one I, that stands out in my mind is the Rabbi Rashav, who said about himself that he worked on himself until by the time he was twelve years old, he trained 
This is the language translated in English. He trained every limb and organ of his body to have only interest in, and be directed to Hashem. So clearly some are born and some make them, some are working on it and some are gifted the ability to having worked on it to get there. Well, that makes sense because I, you know, I'm like trying to picture a two-year-old who, you know, never takes another bite of cookie that he shouldn't have. You know, I mean, it just seems like well, yeah, but it's hard to imagine. That. You know, born that 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 they're born. Well, there there are people we've learned about people in the stories of Siddiquim who are like that, who are born like that. There are people like that. Uh, it's not the average, but there are people like that. So, Uvechein was finish up, therefore. I mean, well, this is about a tzaddik. What's this got to do with me, right? There's nothing in this chapter that has to do anything with me. I'm not a tzaddik. Yeah? No. But we strive to be one. Yeah, we strive to be one. And as we know from other places, there's that point of tzaddik within every one of us, right? And that, that tzaddik, which is in everyone, it, is a force that is striving. It's a driving force. And uh, I, I happened to listen to that last night, you know, so I also understand the, the notion of what, what he calls the the uh, the one who discovered, as he calls it, rather than uh, created the IFS, this thing called self. Is the, and, he, and, he, and he's correct. And why he, you know, he, the dialogues with Y.Y. Jacobson who, well, by the way, is, I think it'd be interesting to note that it opens with YY being so interested in IFS because he's seen all of this in Chassidus. And he says, you know what, what you've discovered? I just want to put it on the table. But what struck me about the, how, what, how, what I saw in Chassidus that so is resonance, resonates with your IFS um, you know, construct. And the, the part of that construct is just as it is in Chassidus, that is a tzaddik, that is what he calls the self within every one of us. And that, whether we know it or not, is driving us. That, 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 without that, we wouldn't feel despair when we're not connected. We wouldn't feel dejected and depressed. What's doing that? Because there's something in every one of us that craves connection and craves delight and wants to leave the darkness. And that's important to know. And therefore, that's my behavior, to keep myself aware of that as much as possible, even though I may never become a tzaddik, even she'en a gomer, but my tzitkis will drive me. Anybody else? Yeah, I I, I, I like that behavior, and I would add that my Bechain is to work on my on my IFS family and see if that could could you know I know it sounds like uh, mumbo jumbo because it's not right. Torah it's you know it's, it's a different language but maybe it's really connected and maybe I, that I, this is the work that we have to do on ourselves yeah. I mean I think it is by the way I mean though I've not uh, delved into it I know a number of people whom I respect very much, when it was my daughter, um, uh, who very much is and here into this, and and be, and because, forget it. You know, whether you learn Torah or not, it rings with truth. And why? Why I think was pointing out very well the reason it rings with truth because it's very consonant with everything that's written in in, in Kabbalah and Pesidus. So, it appears to be a good mechanism, or um, putting this stuff into practice. And as, as I'm just scratching the surface, so don't take it from me. I'm not an IFS specialist in any way. But it seems to be very promising, and it's certainly very effective. And that's why my daughter's so interested, in it, because it is so very effective in releasing releasing the devil from within and and, and revealing the, the godliness in everybody. He may not call it godliness. He calls it self, the soul, but... Yeah. Okay. So that's a uh, bechain is good. One bechain is take, let's take more look at IFS. Another is uh, in general, whatever we can do to find the ways to release and fire the fire of sitkas, which is in each and every one of us. Okay. Till tomorrow, I'm cutting it off because it's eight ten and I have to move.
a good day. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you.